We're going to learn how to install Stable Diffusion with custom models to create images like this, this, and this. Let's get right into it. We're going to start with some prerequisites. First off, we need to install Git. To get started, we need to head over to the official website of Git, which you can find linked in the description below. You can download it by clicking the link at the top or one of the links below corresponding to your operating system. Once it's downloaded, just open the file and the installation process will begin. You can stick with all the default options, it's really easy. Now that we have Git installed, let's move on to our next prerequisite, Python 3.10. To get Python up and running on your machine, we need to download it from their website, which you can also find linked below. Once you're on their website, simply scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the version that says Recommended. During the installation process, make sure to select the option that says Add to Path. And that's it, we're ready to get into installing Stable Diffusion. To start, we're going to clone the web UI repo. Trust me, it's not as scary as it sounds. Here's what we need to do. Create a folder of where you want your Stable Diffusion to reside. I personally like to keep mine on my desktop, but feel free to choose any location. Once you've decided, right click in that folder and select git bash here. A git bash terminal will pop up and in that terminal, type in the following command that corresponds with your GPU manufacturer. Sorry, you can't copy paste it, but it's on screen now as well as in the description. Once you've entered the command, it should only take a few seconds to load. And once that's done, that's it, it's cloned. You should find a new folder called Stable Diffusion Web UI. All right, step three, we need to download some models. You have two options here. You can go with the official Stable Diffusion models or try alternative models made by users, which I'd highly recommend and is what I'm gonna show you. The best website to get models is citify.com as they have thousands of custom models to choose from, all suiting different needs. For starters, I'd highly recommend trying out Delibera. It's a powerful all-purpose model that can generate some great stuff. Once you've downloaded Delibera or any other model of your choice, simply move it to the Stable Diffusion web UI slash models slash Stable Diffusion folder. Now step four is optional, but I think it's a good idea, especially if you have a slightly weaker computer. In your Stable Diffusion folder, find the web UI user.bat file and give it a right click. Now choose the edit option and look for a line that says command line underscore args and change it to command line underscore args equals dash dash med vram. By doing this, you can generate art at larger scales, though it means sacrificing a small percentage of generation speed, but it's definitely worth it for older computers. All right, now it's time to launch Stable Diffusion. Simply double click on the web UI user.bat file to launch the program. Remember to launch it as a normal user, not as an administrator. During the first run, Stable Diffusion will install some dependencies, so it could take around 10 to 20 minutes. Once it's done, you'll see the command window show an address. Copy that address and paste it into your browser. And now we're in the Stable Diffusion UI. At the top of the UI, you'll notice the option to select your model or checkpoint as it's called. But since we've only got one model, we don't need to mess with that, as it's already pre-selected for us. Beneath, you'll see two text fields, one for positive prompts and one for negative. In the positive field, you can type in all the things you want to see in your image, separated by commas. For example, I'll type in blue hair, barista, well-lit coffee shop, serving viewer coffee, happy, and realistic. In the negative field, you can mention what you don't want to see in your image. For me, that would be anime, bad quality, and watermark. And underneath, we can see a variety of options. We have the sampling method, which I'm just gonna leave as the default, but depending on what you choose, it will have a different method for creating the image, and will therefore produce a different result. But Euler is fine for my needs. We have the sampling steps, which is how many times the image will improve itself. Higher values will take a long time, so I'm just gonna leave it as 20 for now which is good enough for most use cases. We have the resolution, which I'm gonna slightly increase. We have batch count, which is how many images are produced. I want three images, so I'm gonna set it to three. Batch size is how many images are produced at once, which makes generation speeds faster, but costs more VRAM. So I'm just gonna leave it as one. CFG scale determines how true to your prompt the image will be. The lower the value, the more creative the image output. Now that we've configured our preferred settings, we can click Generate and see what it produces. Wonderful. Even with a simple prompt, it produces images like that. 
Well, I hope this guide was helpful for you. By the way, if you're new to Stable Diffusion or struggling to generate the images you want, I have guides hosted on my website, jamesbeltman.com, which go over prompting techniques as well as some of the best extensions for upping your Stable Diffusion game. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, feel free to leave a comment down below.